Uh, look, uh, Minister, uh, this question is to ask you why you have decided to move away from the not-for-profit model of the local employment services and job clubs to a payment by results model in the recent tender that has been launched. And in your reply, you might also let us know if this was the conclusion of the external report that had been carried out in relation to job activation and contracted services within the Department of Social Protection. Thank you. Thanks, Deputy Minister. Uh, and thank the Deputy for raising this issue. Uh, as the Deputy will be aware, uh, most of the contracts for local employment services have been in place since the 1990s and have been simply rolled over on an annual basis. Good governance and public procurement rules require that my department does not continue the existing process of simply rolling over contracts for employment services. As a first step in moving to a procurement approach that complies with all of the necessary standards, the the Department re recently issued a request for tender expanding employment services into seven counties across the North West and Midlands where a local employment service does not currently exist. It is wrong to look at this tender as a move away from a not-for-profit model to a payment by results model. It is absolutely client focused with a strong focus on local services, community linkages and client ser le service levels and outcomes. As I have said, it is expanding a service provision into seven counties which currently do not have a local employment service. About 90 per cent of the fees to be paid under the contract are based on client service rather than outcomes. The outcome fee is an additional payment. And finally, the request for tender published on the 26th of May is the product of an extensive process involving lengthy consultation with the sector and the engagement of external consultants. I am satisfied that the approach being taken balances the need for high standards of procurement with our shared concern to ensure that the service delivers for our clients. I also believe that the Department's current providers, such as the LES, and job clubs are very well positioned to, to respond to this tender. So tenders will be evaluated on the basis of quality and an organisation's ability to access a wide range of supports and services to best meet their clients' specific needs. There is a limited cost element in the request for tender, but within defined parameters. However, the vast majority of the awarding criteria will be determined by the quality of service design as well as links to Thanks, the Minister. relevant local partners and stakeholders. Deputy. Sir, um, and I and I understand the expansion, and of course the expansion where the LES doesn't currently exist is welcome, but it would only be welcome if it was to remain in its current model. And you can say it as many times as you want, but it is a fact that the current model is not for profit. So the absolute aim, money doesn't come into it when a person comes through the door, they can walk in or they can be referred, and it is moving to a payment by results model. And that's just a fact. In relation to consultation, and I do acknowledge consultation took place, but I very much doubt during any of those consultation periods with job clubs or with LESs that they looked for a model change or they looked for a change for payment by results. And, and this, of course, will be particularly difficult in rural counties counties and towns where the jobs just aren't there to place a person in a job straight away. Can you tell us how much money is required by the likes of an LES or a job club even coming together to go into this tender? Because yes, while quality might be important, they can't enter it without money. Thanks, so how much? Yeah, Minister. Uh, thank you. Uh, just to reassure the Deputy, there is no privatisation happening and it's wrong to say that there is. And uh, you know, it, the vast majority of marks in the request for tender, over 75% are based on the quality of the service and the experience and the track record of the tenderers in providing support to those furthest from the labour market. And indeed, I've spoken to a number of local providers who have uh, seen the request for tender and they actually think it's fair. What's more, they're confident in their ability to put together good bids with these contracts and if you're providing a good service, you should be confident. In terms of consultation, my department has engaged with all the relevant stakeholders, including the ILDN, and briefed them on our procurement plans, 
Everybody knew this was coming for some time. My predecessor, Minister Doherty, met with the ILDN at their annual meeting back in 2018 and, and told them the contracts were in breach of procurement rules and it would have to go to tender. Thanks, I have no choice but to put this out to tender. Deputy. Yeah, and, I, and I'm not arguing that point, but just again, how much money will an LES or a job club need today in order to bid for this tender? Because what I'm hearing back is it's a huge tender. They, they'll need some kind of a tendering consultant to try and match it and actually put in their application in the first place. And I'm really concerned, and, and it's fine to say they're well positioned to put in for it. It'll be very interesting to see how many do put in for it, because I'm not hearing that on the ground. And I've met many, many LES staff and job clubs throughout the country in the last number of weeks. And and they feel they are not in a position to tender. And that, to me, is very, very serious. I'm also concerned in relation to the end of walk-ins. I think we should all be concerned about that. And in relation to the payment by results model, I would ask you to look at JobPath. Over 93 million euro of taxpayers' money paid to Thurs New and CTEC in referral fees, in just forgetting a person to sign on, a payment of 311 euro, a total of 93 million euro. That's a huge amount of money. And to date, 24,000 people have maintained a job for over a year. So I do not believe, and that's out of Thanks, nearly Deputy. 300,000 people referred, okay. that it hasn't worked. Final answer, Minister. Yeah. Deputy, can I just say that there has been extensive, extensive consultation with every single um, um, local uh, or uh, every single provider across the country, particularly those. We're now expanding this service. This is the first phase. We're expanding the service. We have consulted with them. We have gone through it with them before the request for tender went out. And there's been a lot of explanation. And I do not understand why they're going to have to imply somebody to put in the request for tender because it, they have been uh, really, uh, you know, they should have really have a good idea in terms of what they need to do at this stage. And I really do think that uh, they should be confident uh, in terms of the service delivery that they're doing. We're looking at the quality of the service. We're looking at the local service. So there's a lot. That, you know, there, there, there's a lot of work has gone into this. I don't have a choice, as you know. I have to put this out for tender. But what we have, we have put a strong focus on local service and, and their, 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 their connections with the local community. And there's no reason why they can't be successful with the tender. Thanks, Minister. Question 103, uh, Sean Sherlock. Uh, thank you. Uh,